Hello! Before we get started on number forms, it's very helpful to understand some things about place value. So let's quickly review place value. On this page, I have a number, 5,892,643. When I read this number, I read this number using the periods. You can see here this 5 is in the millions period. I read it as 5. The periods are separated by commas. In this middle period here, I have 892. So I read it as 892,000. In this last period, I have 643, and we simply read it as 643. It's helpful also to know that each place value has a name, and it follows this pattern, ones, tens, hundreds. So here, the three is in the ones, the four is in the tens, the six is in the hundreds. We go to the next period, it follows that same pattern, ones, tens, hundreds. We have one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Next, millions, one millions, and if this number went on, ten millions, hundred millions. And if it went on, one billion, ten billion, hundred billion. So we follow this exact same pattern. <clears throat> it's also important to know that these numbers have different values. You would all agree, I believe, that two is less than three. But if you look at their placement and the place value chart, the two is in the thousands column and the three is in the ones column. So this two is not worth two here. This two is worth 2,000. And I think you could probably agree that you want $2,000 in your wallet and not three ones. All right, let's get started on some number forms. We're gonna start today with expanded form. So if we have a number such as 34,802 and you are asked to write this in expanded form. You have to remember the value of each of these numbers. Uh, remember from our review we just did, this 2 is in the 1's column, so it's worth 2, and this 4 is in the 1,000's column, so it's worth 4,000. So when we write numbers in expanded form, we think about their true value. So what is this 3 worth? Well, it's in the 10,000's column, so 3 10,000's would make 30,000. The 4 is in the thousands column, so it's really worth 4,000. So in expanded form, we just write these as a sum, plus 4,000. The 8 is in the hundreds column, so we write it as 800. Helps to remember the names of the place values. We have 0 in the tens column, so we just leave that as 0. We don't have to write anything. And then we have 2 in the ones column. So the expanded form of 34,802 is 30,000 plus 4,000 plus 800 plus 2. Okay, let's look at another number form, word form. And <laughs> for a lot of kids, this is their least favorite. So let's take our number, 34,802. All we have to do is put this number into words. So remember from our review of place value, this 34 is in the thousands period. So we just write it as 30 <laughs> 34,000. Hopefully you write a little neater than I do. 34,000. All right. You see that this period, the thousands period and the one period are separated by a comma. So when we're writing things in word form, we actually just put a comma for the next period. So the 802, we just write 8. Hundred. Two. So there you go. That is the word form of 34,000. 802. All right, and the last form we're going to talk about today is standard form. And standard form is by far the easiest, but for some reason kids get confused by it. They're like, I don't know what standard form is. So on your homework, you might get a problem in, let's say, expanded form or in word form, and then it asks you to write the number then in standard form. And it's very easy. Standard form is just a regular number. So if they ask you to write 34,802 in standard form, you literally just have to write 34,802 and you're done.
Okay, now it's your turn. I would like you to try to write a number in standard form, expanded form, and word form. The number I would like you to try to write is 187,712. Go ahead and press pause and try it on your own. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully you did well. Uh, standard form is just a regular number, so you just write it simply as 187,712. Not too tough. Expanded form, you have to remember the place values. This one is really worth 100,000. I'd like to add that to my bank account. The eight here is worth 80,000. I'd like to add that to my bank account, too. <laughs> uh, the 7 here, this first 7 in the thousands period, is worth 7,000. And this 7 here is worth 700. The 1 is worth 10. And lastly, the 2 is just worth 2. So that is 187,712 in standard form. And now on to word form, everybody's favorite. You have to remember the names of the period. So if we had millions in front of here, we would write one millions or 123 millions, but we only have thousands. So we're going to start here. 187 is how you read it, and it's in the thousands period. So we write it as 187. And this 187, like I said, is in the thousands period. So we write 187,000. And just like we separate numbers periods with commas, we'll separate this with a comma. And in this ones period, we have 712. We don't usually write 712 ones. We just write 700, 712. And that's it. Word form. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.